What's up guys, this is Steve. How's everybody doing? Before we get started, I want to wish all the ladies happy Mother's Day. I hope you ladies enjoy your day and thank you for the great job you ladies are doing. Okay, in this video we're talking about the ES File Explorer that's missing from the Google Play Store. But before we get started, the best way to support me and the channel is simply by liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, sharing the video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe and join that notification squad. Alright, enough with the foreplay, let's get it popping y'all. So, ES File Explorer went missing about two weeks ago and it's been giving me a headache. We talked about it um, on Tuesday. But I know a lot of people not able to join the live stream sometimes, so I, I'll make a, it's cool, I'll make independent videos for stuff that's important, because this has to be important, because I'm getting dozens of messages from it. So let's go straight to an article, and I will put this article in the description of the video as well, because I like giving credit whenever I show an article in a video. So... This is from Android Police, and they say ES File Explorer vanishes from, from Play Store. And it's because of this company right here. This is who owns ES File Explorer right now. So, a little bit of history. Well, with all the apps, it's, a, it's usually an apps that, you know, that started by the developer. And sometimes they get popular, and they sell to other companies and stuff like that. So, ES File Explorer has been sold a couple times, I believe, and it ended up in the hands of Doe Global. And Doe Global has a history of bad trouble with the Google Play Store. So, it says so in the article Google has re already removed apps and suspended accounts owned by Doe Global. So, they say that ES File Manager or Explorer was running ads in the background of the app without us knowing. The reason why is because that generates money for the developer. So, you know, when you click on the ad, the developer gets so much money before you watching the ads. So, they were they found a way to run the ads without us knowing and get paid for it. So, um, do I believe that's wrong? Uh, yeah, because it's, you know, it's our stuff, so I think we should have permission, we'll give the permission to do whatever we want with our devices, but, you know, with this ads thing, it's like a new money maker, so people are trying to find a way to manipulate that to get more money, so you guys know how that is. So, yes, file manager I've been using for years, and I know a lot of other people have as well. So I've been checking out some more apps from the Play Store. So I'll put this article in the description. It's a pretty good article. So we have no more ES File Explorer. And like I said, I've been using it for years. I mean, at least over five years I've been using ES File Explorer. So let's go to the Play Store. We're going to talk about some alternatives. And you're going to have a lot of people say, this is the best file manager. This is the best file manager. The truth is, the best file manager is the one that you're most comfortable with. So what you need to do is go test a few of them. So right now, this is the main one that I'm going to show you in the video. FX file manage F F FX file explorer. I'm going to show you this mainly because most of its features are free. I also like Salad Salad Explorer, but I believe Salad let's go check it out. Salad Explorer makes you pay. It makes you pay at the 2 weeks, I believe. I'm going to check it out right now. And this is probably the most popular one right here, the Salix Salix Explorer. But I understand, you know, I got a lot of people watching. I'd rather use something that's, you know, at least has most of its features for free. So I'm gonna skip this. 
blah, 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 blah. Okay. And we'll see. So this is the most popular one. Say thank you for trying Foul well, Salad Explorer. You can use all its free features for two weeks for free. So there's no free version of this. Once the two weeks is over, they pretty much cut you off and you have to buy the free first. I mean the full version. So we're not gonna talk about this much, but we might talk about it later in another video. I'll just buy it for you guys. But this is a very good one. I like this one a lot. Explore is also another good one. Probably like my third favorite. But the one I want to talk about is FX File Explorer. And like I said, the reason being, the main reason being, is it's easy to use. And most of its features are free. It does have a paid version as well that adds extra stuff if you guys need it. So you can read up on that. But I know most of my people, most a lot of people just moving files and stuff like that and installing apps will only need the free version. Start a seven day trial to FX Plus now. Nah might buy that in the future for you guys too so actually I will I'll buy the I'll buy the premium feature the FX and the salad Explorer in the future to show it to you guys but this is an alternative you can use for the ES file Explorer for you guys that's using some of my videos and I know my all my videos I use the ES file manager so Instead of ES File Manager, install FX, just like we did, and it's, it's pretty clean. I like it. We go to Main Storage. It's different. So I'm going to my Download section, which we talk a lot about a lot in most of my videos. And it's pretty much the same way. A long press Aptoid. I can delete it, copy it, and move it somewhere else. Gives me more options. I do not see the move feature on here like we had on ES File Explorer. I believe the move feature is in Salic Explorer though. So it's pretty cool. This is the one that we'll use for our newer videos because it's simple and it looks similar to ES File Explorer so you guys won't be too lost. Cleaning tools. So, once you guys, instead of ES File Explorer, you guys can go to Main Storage. Here's the files. And like I said, we usually use Download a lot. So, I'll end up probably doing some of those videos over again to help you guys. But it's real simple. You guys got to play with this stuff. You know, play with FX and do the free trial of Solid Explorer as well. And choose what's best for you. We'll try to show you guys both. Got a split view. So that's for if you like had some external memory as well. Let's go to settings. So the upgrade is more cloud stuff, I believe. FX Plus enables network cloud media and file sharing functionality. So this is a lot of cloud stuff. And I know a lot of people like the cloud stuff on Salad a whole lot better. So that's pretty much it guys. Test this out, play with it.
let me see new folder very simple to use new file select so I like this very simple to use look at all these duplicate kits it's because I make videos and sometimes I try to stuff out and then I'll make the video delete all that if I wanted to okay, click the box and delete so let me know if you guys <clears throat> what you guys been using before ES File Explorer uh, well after ES File Explorer went down if you were using ES File Explorer for your main file manager, let me know. So, I like FX. I think we should use it in my future videos. If you guys think I should use something else, you know, definitely comment and share your thoughts. Like I said, I'm using FX for the future videos mainly because it's free. Um, I do like Salad a little bit better, but for the stuff that we're going to be doing, this is good enough. So, let me know if you feel different about that. Just comment and let me know what you guys are using, what you guys recommend. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully, this video helped you. Make sure you guys comment comment if you have any questions. Uh, share the video and help somebody else. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Click that bell and join the notification squad. And tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching, guys.